In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the tab order on your Excel user form. I was working on something this week for, for a customer and they were trying to generate numbers. So you'd put in um, a serial number and let's go in the serial number field and you go A123 G456. Okay. And so then you press tab and then you go to the model number and then we'll go a10 and then we'll go tab and we let's say they receive 10 of those and then you press tab again and then you go down to the second number and that's really not very convenient you'd want it to go over to the second model number there and so i was frustrated with this and so i found out how to change the order of your tab so that it will move smoothly through your sheet the way you want it to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my developer tab and I'm going to open up my user form. So here I have my user form in the VBA development stage here. And now let's talk about we have the label fields and we have the value fields and they're they're all they're all they all count when we're putting them in order so now let's right click on the the user form itself and then we're going to select tab order now what this does is it brings brings up a list of your um, labels and and tabs so serial number start is the label one which is fine and serial number text is perfectly fine and i have label two which is my model number and i have uh, model a dot text and that's fine and label three is um, the quantity for model a and, um, and that's good now all of a sudden we go to we've moved from um, label or um, quantity a text to quantity b text so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the label four and i'm going to move it up in between that but more than that i'm going to put in my model number before before that so i'm going to move that up as well so then i have label four so one, two, three, four. So that would be this one. And then we're going to have our, um, our, and then, we, and so then we have our description of the model. And then we have, then we're going to put the label five and move it up. And so now we have the label and then the model number and the label and the text. And then we're going to move up um, this other one, which is um, label six. And we still have um, we still have the description below it, so we want to move that one up as well. And then we want to move up the label before um, the text for the quantity. Now I'm going to go through all of these, and I am going to um, move up um, the ones that I need until I get them where where they need to go, as opposed to where they ended up somehow in this um, conglomeration. And so I just select them and move them up as long as you remember that these labels are need to go in front of the values that fields that are there. Okay, so, so now I've played with these sufficiently that I think that I've got them the, the way that I want them. So I'm going to say OK. And now let's run this so we can see what it looks like in the... Okay, so now let's try putting in a serial number, which is R89Q67. And let's put a model number, and then we'll press Tab, and we go to the model number, and so let's go E45, and then we go Tab, and we go to the quantity, and let's put in six of those. Let's press in tab, and this is where we're going to be the winning one. And now we go to the next model number, which is, you know, G29, 26. 
and then we put seven of those. So now we have changed the tab order so that you can you can tab from um, one to the next field without having to uh, click down to, and you can just enter the way you want them. So that is how you change your tab order on an Excel user form. Please subscribe.